We're doing something a little different for Orwell as an optimist. We're out here on the corner of University Avenue and Lytton Plaza in downtown Palo Alto, and we're offering free phone calls to Washington, D.C. for anybody who wants to call and say, bring the troops home now. We've got a bunch of young people here that are calling. Um, who are they calling? We're calling Barbara, Barbara Boxer. Boxer. Okay. We're trying to figure out how. What the heck? <laughs> Five, three, five, five, three, four. It's full. It's full. Message machine is full? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that's good, don't you think? Yeah, can yeah. you call another person? <laughs> Thanks a lot. No problem. Uh, you want to call Washington? She's, she's going to put me on hold for two minutes. <laughs> Hello, this is Leo from Palo Alto. I'd like... Nancy Pelosi wheels of government to start cutting off so all funds right for now. the war in Iraq. It automatically it's cuts ringing. you off in two minutes. Okay. Lines are busy. Yes. Or call back. Hello, it's I would like ringing. Nancy Pelosi to take some action to get the troops out of Iraq and yeah. to stop funding the war and well, to begin impeachment it's still proceedings. Ringing. Thank you. She's given the option of all holding. of our lines are busy right now. Our disconnect music. Music. There is no option to leave a message. Yes, I think it's really important that the leadership the of the so House only get two continue to bring up bills and which will end the war in Iraq. And if the Republicans want to try to stop that, then the back. country can yeah. watch yeah. Yes, uh, is this uh, Nancy Pelosi's office? To oh, okay. let the Republicans. I, I wanted to, I'm yeah. calling yeah. to urge her to, to do whatever she can to end the war as quickly as possible. By your offering well. Thank you very much. And I, want to express my and I just want to make a comment uh, that we would like to to all the troops uh, home as soon as, as today. Follow, the, um, follow, the, follow this these war, policies. First of all, for this war. don't vote another. My son was in Iraq. He's home don't safe and sound. No, no, he had a great war, but they're still after him, and he could still be called back. The so please, uh, yeah. please stop the Don't support the oil bills. I heard a situation of Senator Feinstein calling from Palo Alto for the war in Iraq. And I'm participating in the Iraq war. And all the private companies out of Iraq. And I want to urge the Senator to propose funding to the war in Iraq. Not just combat. Whatever it takes to cut people on our kids. We have to end this as soon as possible. Thank you. I want lives. Okay, I just want to urge her to We are in the majority. I'd like to see. I feel, I feel like I it's a waste um, of money, time, and human life. <laughs> Thanks for calling. I would like uh, more to be done in the United States to help our young children and our medical. Please, please, it's time to get the troops home. Get our troops no home. Yes, she has to demonstrate more to no me if she wants to get my vote next time. Please, I beg you, do everything you can to bring an end to this horrible war. Thank you very much. We're from Palo Alto, and we just want to tell you to stop the war. Yeah, do whatever you can to not pay for the war and all this stuff. It's bad for our bad. nation. What about our children's children? Yeah. We don't want them growing up with war. This is not good. We need to make peace. 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 Go peace. Woo! Woo! Yay! Thank you very much for your time, and God bless you if you help us. <laughs> <laughs> Grassroots action is what we need to end this war. Congress isn't going to do it on their own. We have to give them a backbone. The media has been saying Congress can't pass legislation to end this war. What they mean is Congress won't pass legislation to end this war. But we're going to give Congress a backbone. All these people stopping by today, calling Washington, this is going to keep going until this war is ended. I'm Paul George. I'm usually here to tell you Orwell was an optimist. 
after seeing some of the young people here calling Washington, getting involved, I'll tell you, this week, I'm an optimist, too.